Is Apple about to unleash its most powerful MacBook ever? The upcoming MacBook Pro M5 has been surrounded by rumors, leaks, and endless speculation, and if the information we've gathered is correct, this could be one of the most significant upgrades Apple has delivered in years. But should you wait for it, or is it just another iteration of the MacBook you already know? Stick with me, because by the end of this breakdown, you'll have a clear picture of whether the MacBook Pro M5 is worth your patience. Welcome to Tech Vibe, the channel where we bring you authentic, no fluff insights into the latest and upcoming tech. Now, let's get right to it the release date. Historically, Apple refreshes the MacBook Pro lineup either in late fall or early spring, depending on the chip cycle. Considering the M5 chip timeline and recent supply chain leaks, the MacBook Pro M5 is expected to make its debut in October 2025, with availability rolling out before the holiday season. This timing would make sense, giving Apple the spotlight right before the shopping rush. For those of you eyeing a MacBook purchase, waiting just a little longer could mean the difference between owning yesterday's machine and tomorrow's powerhouse. But what's making this release so highly anticipated is, of course, the Apple M5 chip. The jump from M4 to M5 isn't just about more speed, it's about efficiency, AI integration, and pushing the limits of what a laptop can do without draining your battery or overheating. Early reports suggest up to 35% faster CPU performance, nearly 50% better GPU output, and enhanced neural processing capabilities tailored for Apple Intelligence, the company's AI-driven platform. If this holds true, the MacBook Pro M5 will not only dominate creative tasks like video editing and 3D rendering but also revolutionize workflows that rely on machine learning, from coding assistance to live data analysis. And here's a hook worth paying attention to. The M5 may also be Apple's first chip fully designed around next-gen fabrication, likely a 2 nanometer process. This isn't just a marketing point, it means less power consumption, lower thermals, and potentially the longest battery life we've ever seen on a MacBook Pro. Imagine editing a full 8K video project, streaming music, and browsing with dozens of tabs, all on battery power and still ending the day with juice left. If Apple delivers, this will be the laptop that finally quiets the complaints about performance versus endurance. Of course, power is only one part of the story. Design is another area where people are curious, will Apple redesign the MacBook Pro in 2025? Don't expect radical changes, but subtle refinements are on the table. Reports suggest thinner bezels around the Liquid Retina XDR display, potentially giving users a slightly larger screen without increasing the footprint. The iconic aluminum unibody may see minor tweaks for weight reduction, possibly incorporating recycled titanium elements, something Apple has already experimented with in other products. And yes, the notch is still expected, but whispers suggest Apple might shrink it down to make it less intrusive. Speaking of the display, the MacBook Pro M5 may finally take a leap forward with OLED or even hybrid OLED mini LED technology. Apple's current displays are already some of the best in the laptop space, but an OLED upgrade would mean deeper blacks, richer colors, and even higher contrast ratios, perfect for creators and media professionals. Combine this with promotion refresh rates up to 120 Hz, and you've got a machine that not only works fast but looks buttery smooth while doing it. Another big talking point is ports. Apple has made strides in recent years by reintroducing HDMI, SD card slots, and MagSafe charging, and it looks like the MacBook Pro M5 will carry these forward. But there's speculation that we could see Thunderbolt 5 support, offering insane bandwidth for external displays and storage solutions. Imagine plugging into multiple 6K monitors with no lag, this is the kind of power professionals crave, 
and Apple is in a position to deliver it. Now, let's pause for a quick hook. If you're still with me, you're probably wondering, will the MacBook Pro M5 finally blur the line between laptop and desktop? With the rumored GPU upgrades, improved cooling, and Apple Intelligence integration, this machine could genuinely replace a high-end desktop for many professionals. That's not just marketing, it's a shift. T in how we think about portable workstations. On the software side, Mac OS 15 will almost certainly ship with the M5, and Apple has been investing heavily in AI tools. We could see real-time transcription, smarter search across files, and even automated editing features for creatives. Imagine Final Cut Pro suggesting edits or Logic Pro cleaning up audio automatically, all powered locally by the neural engine without sending data to the cloud. This isn't science fiction anymore, it's the direction Apple is clearly heading in. Battery life is another area where Apple may flex its muscles. With the M5 chip's efficiency and potentially larger battery cells thanks to a reworked internal design, early estimates suggest 22 to 24 hours of use on a single charge. That's not just impressive, it's unprecedented for a machine with this level of power. And with fast charging, you could go from 0 to 50% in under 30 minutes, keeping you productive even on the move. Audio is also expected to see refinements. The MacBook Pro already has some of the best speakers in a laptop, but sources indicate Apple might be tuning them further for spatial audio, delivering a more immersive soundstage. For creators working with music or film, this could be a subtle but impactful upgrade. Price, however, will be the sticking point. Apple isn't known for budget-friendly devices, and with OLED displays, next-gen silicon, and AI-driven features, the MacBook Pro M5 will likely command a premium. Current estimates place the 14-inch base model at around $2,099 with the 16-inch starting closer to $2,499. Higher-tier configurations could easily push past $4,000, especially if you max out storage and memory. It's expensive, yes, but for professionals who rely on their machine daily, the investment could be justified by the performance gains. So, let's weigh this out. Pros include a groundbreaking M5 chip, possible OLED display, extended battery life, enhanced AI features, and stronger connectivity. On the flip side, cons may include higher pricing, incremental design changes instead of a full redesign, and potential limitations in software adoption for AI features at launch. Here's the real verdict. If you're currently on an M3 MacBook Pro, the M5 may not be an essential jump unless you need cutting-edge performance for creative or professional workloads. But if you're still on Intel-based Macs or even the early M1 generation, the M5 is shaping up to be the leap that makes an upgrade impossible to ignore. And here's one final hook to leave you thinking, what if the MacBook Pro M5 isn't just another laptop, but Apple's quiet step toward a future where MacBooks and iPads merge? With shared silicon, similar performance, and increasingly overlapping features, the M5 might be more than a product, it could be the bridge to Apple's ultimate vision of computing. That wraps up our deep dive into the upcoming MacBook Pro M5. At TechVibe, we're here to cut through the noise and give you the real story behind the tech you care about. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to stay ahead of the curve, don't forget to subscribe and join us for more authentic reviews and previews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.